How you doing? This is Marcus Sales, University of West Georgia cornerback, and you're listening to the Drafter. All right, welcome back into the Drafter. Zach and Christian, we're joined by West Georgia phenom, <laughs> a guy who blocked a lot of kicks, and we'll talk to him about that as well as his, as his, uh, his scouting process. Marcus Sales, how you doing, man? I'm good. How y'all doing? We're good. We're good. So, uh, first off, just kind of talk about uh, your your final season at West Georgia. Kind of sum that up for us and how that went for you uh, personally. Uh, well, we went. We had a pretty good season. Um, it wasn't what we had hoped. We kind of wanted to do a little bit better than we did in the last two seasons. Last two seasons, we made it to the semifinals and lost. But this year, we had high hopes of you know winning out our last couple games and, you know, probably going undefeated, but, you know, things didn't go our way. So, I mean, I still had a good season. I just want to thank my coaches, you know, for, you know, doing everything they did to help us win our games that we did. And, you know, we just got to continue to move forward. And even though this is my last year, I just hope, you know, West Georgia can bounce back next year. Just playing over your football career, whether high school or college, what's one of the your more favorite memories you had playing? Uh, I've had a lot, but I think my senior year is probably my best year just because, you know, it was my last one. I've, I've grown a lot of good relationships with a lot of guys on the team. And, you know, just knowing that this is my last year with them, but it, it was kind of a bittersweet moment knowing that this is my last year, but hopefully I'll have a chance at playing at the next level. So, so you know, talking about playing at the next level, what's that process look like at the moment for you? You're done, you're done playing college ball. And so now you're kind of prepping for the NFL. What what does that look like? Well, right now I'm in the process of still finding an agent. Um, I'm just had got hooked up with a guy that wants to train with us. That trained uh, one of our receivers two years ago. Um, I you know I'm I'm just just finished up my highlight tape, my film. You know, I'm, hopefully whenever I get my agent, they can like to start you know promoting me and sending out my best two game films. And you know, I just the the process is. You know, it's, I'm not really used to it right now just because it's new to me, but hopefully everything will work out the way it is. Sure, and, and you sent some of those highlights to us, and very impressive, really, from special teams. And, and that's been seen time and time again. You know, these, these new guys, especially, you know, late-round picks or undrafted guys from small schools, they come in and they contribute right away on special teams. You know, talk about the importance of special teams and what you can do f- for that. I mean, for me... Coming out of a D2 program, I know that I would have to, you know, be a little bit different than ever a lot of guys that went D1. So I do put a lot of emphasis on, you know, special teams. Um, our special teams coordinator, uh, Coach O'Brien, you know, he does a good job at, you know, making up all these schemes for me to, you know, go and block as many kicks as I did. You know, I just want to thank him for that. But, you know, special teams is important. And, you know, if I could tell any other guy that, you know, that's in a lower – uh, school program, you know, if you really want to do make it, teams do look at, you know, the, uh, special teams and not just like your offense and defense stuff. You got to, you know, be a little versatile, and I think that's what I am. So. All right, so you block all kind of kicks. You're a great special team pl- special teams player, and I know you just said your coach kind of schemed you in a ways for you to get uh, into the backfield to the punter, et cetera. Do you have like a certain secret that makes you so successful in that area? I don't think it's so much a secret. Um, I am kind of fast, you know, so we're able to use my speed to just come off the edge on a lot of the schemes that he does. But with Coach O'Brien, he does a lot of twists with the inside guys, which, you know, when they get back out to the shield, they kind of, you know, the shield kind of has to move towards them, and that kind of leaves me free. But with that and me just having a good get off, you know, I, I think it's able for me to – have a lot of opportunities to block a lot of kicks. So. Marcus, how many kicks did you block uh, over your time at West Georgia? I had 13. <laughs> 13. Not that you're counting or anything. <laughs> no, not that, not I'm counting nothing. <laughs> so, so, yeah, you, you obviously have a, a tendency to be able to get off the, get off the line quick. Uh, have you timed your 40 recently? I mean, how, how quick uh, have you timed out at? Uh, last time we had ran 40s, even though it was stopwatch. I ran a four two eight and a four three three, and the time before it was a four three nine. So I'm kind of in. The, I'm kind of shooting for that mid four three range, hopefully. 
I mean, you see these guys all the time just get looks just because of their speed. So yeah, that's that's definitely uh definitely a big plus to have, and and you you can see that when when watching tape uh, of your game. So we talked about you in the special teams game. Talk about you as as a cornerback. Yeah, me. I'm a corner. I've been starting since I was a freshman. Um, I've had, I, I think I've had 12, 12 interceptions, over 120 tackles. Um, I think I'm, I'm not the biggest corner. I'm I'm five ten, one seventy, um, but I think I can, you know, use my speed and my my quickness at breaking on routes really well. Um, I'm good at covering people on uh, off coverage and press coverage. Um, and I think I can contribute at any position whenever they wherever they need to put me at because I'm just I'm good with my footwork and you know my my coaches you know they with the defense that we in they were leaving me on islands a lot of the times so that were able to help our defense you know roll coverages the other way so I think I'm just good at uh, with my footwork and I'm able to keep up with a lot of receivers just because of my speed through the recruit uh, the draft process what are you looking most forward to I know you've kind of surfaced that a little bit earlier but what are you kind of looking forward to and I know you said you're not all that familiar with the process but what's something that you're kind of looking towards to uh for the whole draft process for yourself well right now uh me and a couple guys we're about to get ready to start doing some regional combines um but when it comes to the draft and stuff you know I'm just excited to you know get an agent uh hopefully sometime soon and you know just having teams come up start talking to me maybe you know, getting me to just to know me a little bit better and hopefully them saying that I can contribute to their team. So, you know, I'm just excited the whole thing, just not something just individually, but just like the whole process in itself. Going back to when you played defense for West Georgia, did they run a lot more man? Did you run a lot more zone? And kind of what's your strengths as far as coverage goes? Uh, our defense is the way we ran it. We kind of have a zone man concept, so – a man, we would have a man after so many amount of yards, and our boundary corner, he would, he would probably he would have man most of the game. But with the field corner, which is what I played, it kind of mixed up between uh, zone and man. But uh, you know, when it, it really depended on what what types, types of teams that we played that we would scheme up uh, according to them. But you know, it was kind of a, mi- a mixture of both. So they felt comfortable putting you more uh, more in space. If yeah, yeah, they. That's what that I've been playing my whole time since I've been here. So, I was just looking at your bio at West Georgia. You are actually born one month before me. I'm November first, ninety four. You're October first, ninety four. Really? Is that right? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And I also have ties to New York, as you do too. My dad was from New York. Um, what age did you move to Georgia? Uh, I think I moved to Georgia when I was. I was in middle school. I, I think it was about sixth sixth grade. I moved here because I was I lived in New, New York until I was about six years old. Then I moved to New Jersey for three years. So it was around like sixth grade, fifth grade. I moved down to Georgia. So you go from New York to Alpharetta, Georgia. Bit of a culture shock there. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit different when I first came down here. But you know, I like Georgia. I like the people that you know that's down here, and I got used to it. So there you go. Y'all are like the same person. Yeah, except <laughs> except one's a really good football player and the other one just sits here and talks about it because he can't play. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right, Marcus. So what is what does this rest of this off season look like? You know, once you get your agent squared away and, and your training process and, and all that, uh, have any pro days or anything like that been decided? Uh, our pro day, I think it's in the middle of March, but I I talked to one guy and he was advising me at. Maybe there was a there's opportunities at me also going to another team another team's pro day just to get uh, more scouts look at me so when they come to our pro day they already know about me you know and kind of have a little bit more hype about it so I just gotta you know whenever that agent comes in I can he can probably ask me a little bit more about it and then I'll go from there so okay yeah more exposure the better absolutely uh, especially when you know you smaller school guys um, yeah definitely rooting for you so. Give your your final pitch as to to why a team should take a chance on you. You know, I think a team can take a chance on me just because I'm a very versatile player. I feel like my speed and my quickness when I play at corner or when I'm, you know, playing special teams can 
contribute to any part of the, any uh, team that wants to, you know, take a chance on me. You know, I feel like I'm very coachable. I feel like I get along with a lot of the teammates, and you know, I feel like they would get a, you know, an A plus grade, you know, about me, and I feel like I can contribute to any team immediately. So, you know, I just hope that you know this process is going to continue to go in my favor, and you know, I pray that you know the team will eventually look at me. So, Marcus Sales, cornerback for West Georgia. Thanks for coming on with us, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.